quick off the cuff video. So I'm out here in Florida on a vacation trying to get my heart to feel better. But uh, Joe posted up his go to work challenge is what I'm gonna call it. I don't know if that's what he's calling it. But anyways, it was if you had to go to work tomorrow, what would be, what would you grab? Your gun, your gear, etc. And so since I'm on vacation, I have the gear with me. I think that was one of the criteria was it has to be stuff that's with you. So this is what I brought with me to Florida. It's what I take out of town. Um, now I will say in Joe's thing, there isn't really context around his uh, go to work. So he says go to work tomorrow, but there's no context around like, what am I doing? Am I a part of a larger group? You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You drive down the rabbit, dive down the rabbit hole. But for the sake of this, um, I'm by myself and whatever context around it is gonna be me doing whatever work I'm doing alone and probably not leaving my family too far behind. So probably gonna have to go out uh, doing some sort of recon or trying to find things that we may need or find a safe way out for us so that's why the gear is set up the way it is a little bit of context for why uh, i have what i have uh let me double check okay so uh, the other questions were uh what would you change and why what do you feel you're missing what mistakes have you made so uh the rifle that i brought is my 16 inch sons of liberty uh with the one to eight attacker on it as you can see it is very humid out here in florida so there's like moisture all over it um, this is my go-to gun. It's the gun that I train with all the time and that's why it's what I brought because it's the one I train with the most. Uh, if I had to change anything, I probably would change to the 4-16, to which when I get back home, that's probably what I'm going to do is swap out optics. I was waiting to put that on an 18-inch, but I think just for the sake of where I'm at right now, uh, I'll probably just put the 4-16 to on here and then probably put this on the 18-inch and we'll talk about that in a later video. Um, yeah, so there's a bunch of videos out on this. You can see how it's set up. I'll link those up here. So, uh, but yeah, for the most part, this is how, the only other thing I might change is, um, I might do some more like garnish on here just to help break up the silhouette because it is a pretty dark gun. Now out here in Florida, if you look around, it's very green. So this blends in well, but having something to break up the silhouette would be nice. So uh, <clears throat> those are two things that I would have, would have changed um, early on in my, I don't know, career or like pursuing training. I wanted shorter guns and, um, you know, 16 inches kind of like the go-to right now for me. Uh, I do think 18 inches is a little bit better, uh, but yeah, it is what it is. So other stuff I have, oh, we got a plane. So let the plane go by. <laughs> okay. So the other stuff that I have is all in this bag. This is my Everly Stock Free Fall. You guys have seen it in a few videos. Um, the thing that I like about this bag is that the size of it, so the internal dimensions, carry the amount of gear that I want, and it has a frame, which is one of like the downsides, I said, of the Bandit. The Bandit didn't have a frame, so it didn't carry a tripod as well. So I do carry a tripod with me. That's just a me thing because of the stuff that I train, and again, this goes back to my context of what I'm doing. So uh, really quick, what I have in here on top, um, this top pocket is just a little boonie, boonie hat. Um, so if I needed a hat, I keep that stored in there. It just doesn't get messed up when I'm uh, shooting and doesn't hit off the optic and things like that. Uh, in here, I have a little shemog to cover myself just from the sun that I can grab that quickly and just throw it over because, again, it's hot. Uh, Ear Pro on the side, but we'll take this off and show you what I carry inside of here. <clears throat> now, again, what I carry in here, context dependent. So the going to work that like Joe's talking about, I'm not going to be assaulting on a house. I'm not trying to shoot down a large force. So the equipment that I have with me or the gear that I have with me, it's probably different than a lot of you would probably choose. So uh, this is a rain jacket. This is just a dry bag from Everly Stock. I snagged a couple of those from them. Uh, sandbag. And then I've got, I don't want to pull all this out, but this is just a ammo bag, extra 77 rounds, and then a few mags in there for me. I do only have shorty mags because I am using a scoped carbine. So if I wasn't Using scope carbine, I might throw some 30 rounders in there, but they do get in the way when you're going prone or whatever. Uh, Night Force spotting scope, and then I've got uh, like pliers, wire cutters, um, on this side a knife, uh, and then this is all like, this side is just all like my cleaning gear. I'll do a deeper dive on like the stuff I carry in here. And then this bag is the Everly Stock Bando XL, and in here I have my, my binos, uh, and then my Kestrel and all that, so I can throw this around my waist. So that, again, if I got to leave the bag with my family for whatever reason or if we're together, I can take this and the rifle. And the reason, the thought process behind that is it's light. So I'm light. I'm not carrying a bunch of gear. And it's faster for me to get to wherever I need to get to and get back to my family as quickly as possible. Uh, again, this is not me assaulting on a force. This is not me trying to, like, take over some building or anything like that. I want to be as light and agile as possible. And I want to be able to move through areas as quickly as I can. And if for whatever reason I get spotted and I need to drop everything and hide it, it's easier to drop these things and hide them than it is a big bag that draws a lot of attention. Um, so yeah, so that's most of what's in there. There's a few other small things, but 
like I said, we'll dive into that in a, in a separate video, but I want to do this really quick because Joe asked for the, the challenge. Okay, one thing that I did forget, and I, I do want to make note of this is, because uh, I feel like it's really important, is uh, this medical kit. This is from Flatline Fiber Co. This is a partner product that they had with uh, Duffy. So at, at, was it Kinetic Consulting? Anyways, uh, this is their med kit, and all I did was Velcro it around the strap. And I actually got this idea from looking at some uh, World War II pictures during D-Day and looking at how they carried their kit. And I just happened to notice they were carrying med kits on their, on their straps. So I was like, dude, I, I've got one of these. Let's see if I can strap it on there. And then um, I just, they have a, a, a hanger for your, your tourniquet, but I just rubber banded on there because I can rip it off faster. And the way that the hanger sits on here, it's just too wide. It flaps around. It's weird. Uh, it works better on your belt. But that's what this is designed for. But you can repurpose this. This is from Flatline Fiber Co. Rip it out and you've got a med kit. And the other thing too is like, for whatever reason, if I leave the bag sitting somewhere, you don't have to dig through the bag to get to the med kit, right? So it's out. Everybody can see it. Everybody knows where it's at. It's clearly marked and quickly accessible for everyone. And then this rope, because people have asked about it, is uh, just some extra rope to hang the bag so I can hang it in a tree if I need to. I hang it off of a tripod. Also, if you undo this daisy chain, then you can uh, drag the bag behind you. So if you were doing something where you had to crawl or you were trying to move quietly or keep a low profile, you can drag the bag behind you. And uh, you can use that tubular nylon, nylon for a bunch of other things, but that is it. So if you want to participate, go on Instagram, put it in your stories of what you would take and make sure you tag him in it. I think he's giving something away. I don't know what he's giving away. I think he said he's giving away one of his rifles, like one of his uh, Bruiser branded rifles, one of like the one of one that he has from Lone Star. I think he's got two of them. So I think he's giving one of those away. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Right, Joe? That's what you said? So make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, cry, shout the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, we're gonna get to the airport. It's hot. That's so sweaty. I got sweat in places I shouldn't. Ha, ha, ha.